Welcome to this weekend's project. The 1998 to 2011 Lincoln Cobb Town Cars are one of the most dependable vehicles known to man. In the world, by the way, not just in the U.S. It is considered the epitome of American luxury. Big car, rides like a Rolls Royce, and honestly, for the for the dollar amount that you can get one of these cars in comparison to other cars that last way less than this, you can't beat it. Now, not to say that these cars don't come with certain issues, and that's what we're here to do today. So join me, and I'll show you an issue that this car has that I've got to address. So the 98 to 2011 Lincoln Town Cars are riddled with issues with their windows. Whether it be the window motors, the plastics that hold them in, I can go on and on. Uh, now, hold on. The odds of you running into a problem with windows on uh, 2008, 9, 10, 11, until the end, right now, slim. Unless they're really high up there in mileage and those windows have been abused. Uh, Usually it's the livery limo used town cars. Why? Because there's people that have used them a lot. But this is a 2003 Lincoln town car. It is 2023. It is a 20 year old car. Doesn't look like it. it looks like a seven year old car. Uh, the lines uh, keep very well with today's cars. But the fact is it's a 20 year old car. This window, when I bought the car, it was working, a little iffy, but then suddenly it just dropped. Typical issue. I'm not here to fix the window. Today, I'm going to show you what to do before you get the part in and how to solve the problem until you get the part to fix it. And if you cannot fix it because, well, something that's a little bit more difficult for you to do and you want to have someone fix it for you, it buys you time from the time you have the issue with the window that literally just dropped on you and it's sitting down on the floor, well, not the floor, but you get what I mean, it's inside the door and you got an open window, to the time you are able to take it in to get repaired. So this is gonna help me as much as it would help someone like you. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily fix the window to, well, no, not fix the window. I'm gonna temporarily affix the window in the closed position and I'm gonna show you how. So it's open about a pinky. Right now, if it rains, I'm gonna get water in the car. I'm gonna show you why it started open. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys in here and show you what I did about a month ago that I, I knew it was not correct because of the material that I used. And that would be literally measure the distance between the window and the bottom of the door. And I put a piece of wood to hold it, except I'm sure you guys can notice that's not wood. That is a composite, which as soon as it gets wet, it starts to look at it down there, see? Look at the bend on that. That bend, it's what's caused the window to sag. Well, I'm gonna change that because I'm gonna put this piece of wood in its place. And that'll buy me the time I need in order to uh, obtain the right parts so I could swap this out. Now, as soon as I remove this piece of wood, that window's gonna probably fall down. Yeah, look at that. Woo! That's seen better days. I knew that was gonna happen, and uh, there's the window starting to creep down. 
I mean, I can literally hold it and bring it down if I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up from the tape that's been there. Uh, making sure that it's nice and clean. And I'll be right back. All right, so let me show you what I'm using. I'm using this suction uh, cup tool. I don't know what they are. I forget what they're called. Um, but that's what I'm using to hold the window up and using the lip to hold it from coming down. And now I'm gonna re-measure because if I measure this, I'm afraid I'm gonna end up short because it's, I don't know, this is holding the true measurement of when I initially measured it. So we got one right about here. I think if I put two pieces, that'll be more than enough. I mean, I can, I can beat on it. That window's not going anywhere. It allows me to do several fixes and other expenses that I have while this window waits because it's not important. Why? I've got my kids that sit in the back seat when they sit in the back seat. This is my daily driver to and from work on my own, by myself. Um, I don't need my kids to be opening up these windows anyway. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, start putting this door back together. Now here's the interesting part about this. This can be done with pretty much any vehicle. 
any car, you can do this to buy you time. And the best part, I'm still left with a piece of girthy wood, you know, can, yeah, can touch my fingers around it. It's 23 inches long. I wonder what anybody would use this for. It would leave splinters. But other than that, you know, leave your comments down below. Anyway, project done. All right, well, that's it. It was a quick one. That's how quick you can solve an issue on your car's window when it's not staying up. Instead of putting a, a trash bag or, you know, what people try to do to temporarily solve the issue, issue is the, the solution is right there. All you got to get is a piece of wood, measure it, the length of uh, the distance between the bottom of the... That's a, that's a tongue twister. There. The bottom of the door, the top of the window, I'm sorry, the bottom of the door, the bottom of the window, and cut it to length, wedge it between them, and that window's not gonna move. And that goes for this car, that goes for that car, that goes for any car with this issue. As long as you put the piece of wood between the bottom of the door and the bottom of the window, that window's not going anywhere. As always, like, subscribe, and wait for it. Which one is it? The bell icon, that one. That's the one that notifies you when a new video comes out. Guys, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Good. Good.